Greece, the Greece. banks are working again. Alzheimer's disease is gradually robbing Ros Underwood of her ability to communicate. She and her husband Jeremy first noticed the decline around two years ago. You sort of stop thinking then and you go, can't remember what I'm doing and you know, this sort of thing. It's, it's, it's just, it's, um, I'm not very terrible really, it's rather terrible. Um, you, you feel, I mean, I think the, the awful thing is it, it makes you feel useless. A treatment to slow the loss of brain cells in Alzheimer's would mark a huge moment. Early clinical data has suggested a drug called solunezumab can slow the pace of decline in those with early Alzheimer's disease. New data just released has shown that improvement was maintained for at least two years. These findings are, are hugely sig significant in the sense that it's the first data that we've had which is consistent with a drug actually slowing down the course of the disease. I'm very excited by these findings because I think we could be on the verge of a breakthrough and a radical breakthrough for therapy for people with Alzheimer's disease. In the UK, every year, around 225,000 people develop dementia. Alzheimer's disease is by far the most common form. The new drug might eventually benefit those in the earliest stages of the disease. Now, Alzheimer's disease leads to the build-up of abnormal proteins in the brain, which clump together into plaques and lead to cognitive decline and the loss of brain function. The drug works by clearing some of the plaques and apparently slowing this decline. But a note of caution, we cannot be sure whether solunezumab is effective until the results of another trial are released at the end of next year.